A little over five years ago, and I challenged the team. I said, could we make the hotel, the Royal York Hotel, zero carbon? And they said, you know what? I think there's a pathway. But I said, go do it. And so the team feels empowered. The city should feel empowered. The zero carbon strategy is real. Projects like the Net Zero Project here at the Fairmont Royal York support our role. We are an anchor of the community. We have a strong responsibility to make sure that we lead the way and drive innovation and change as part of the greater Toronto destination. You know, the complexity of the decarbonization project really can't be overshadowed. You know, we legitimately have removed miles of ancient piping from this building. We've tapped into an entirely new energy source. We've built a new electric plant in the hotel. We're so proud of the team that brought this to life. And we're super excited to be able to continue to share this because frankly, if we can do this at the Fairmont Royal York, a 94 year old heritage railway hotel in Canada, the largest Fairmont in the world, if we can do this project here, anybody can do it. As an industry, we have an obligation to reduce our energy usage first and foremost, and then to the extent we can convert that energy use to a non-carbon format, both of which we're doing here, and it, it sets us apart in the hospitality business in Canada.